فعاش القلب وإخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير People argue and debate and they say Islam promotes marrying children you see because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam married Aisha radiallahu anha at the age of six when she was six years old to be honest with you and I want to take you back 100 years maybe 50 years in your own communities didn't you used to fix up your little kids from when they were born let's be honest I see people nodding does that mean you promote things does that mean you promote little kids getting married? Today, the culture may have changed, but it is in line with the permissibility of what the Sunnah has come with. Nobody said you have to get your kids married at a certain age. The culture that we spoke about yesterday, remember one point, and that is that culture which is acceptable in Islam, Islam has not spoken about. Sometimes people mature at different ages. Today, our children perhaps become taller than us at the age of 12 and 13. They are much taller than us. They are bigger than us. They are more burly. They look at you and you're going to say, yeah, okay, son, it's fine. Because you know, you cannot say anymore, I'll give you a beating. Be be when you say, I'll, before you say give you, you already say, love you. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> so people at the time matured very quick, very fast. You know, today, and I was reading an article that was saying that the school life that we have been conscripted to actually wastes 25 years of our time. I was reading an article that says that the reason why the fathers who decided that you have to go to school for 25 years before you can say hello to the world have actually did that is to keep the young people away when they have the energy that is bubbling and bursting out. Keep them out, keep them away, keep them occupied in polite nothings. Allahu Akbar, that's just an article that I read. It's just an opinion. But what I learned from it is at the time there were leaders who 17 years old, they were leaders of the nations. Even go back to other books of history. Take a look at Alexander the Great. How old was he? He was a kid, to be honest with you. If that age had to come today, the whole world would cry foul. He was not even the age of majority and he was ruling. Allahu Akbar. Today you cannot drive a car, let alone rule even your own home. Allahu Akbar. So it's got to do with the culture. Stop going in and digging things of that nature. If that entire society believed it was wrong and there was an outcry, it would have been considered wrong. So whatever we do in our society, that entire society considers taboo. If it is a cultural matter, remember, it probably is something you are doing that is wrong. So today we would, we would encourage people to get married at an age when they understand what marriage is all about. They are ready for it. And for example, they have arrived at that age where it would not be a waste of time to get them married because even if a person is 16, a few years ago, they would say no problem. In fact, in some rural areas and even in some cities across the globe, they say no problem. Yet some advanced countries are trying to push a law that says you cannot marry before the age of 21. Yet the sexual activity begins at nine. Don't you agree? I was reading a book. In fact, not a book, but a, a an article on the net regarding the United States of America. And they said, they gave a percentage of the amount of children that are sexually active from the age of nine. They say by 14, the bulk of them already have been through it. May Allah protect us by the age of 14. Now you tell me nine. Well, go back to the hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he married Aisha at six, he did not sleep with her. He did not even live in the same home as her. He waited for her to become mature until her father and her parents chose that, you know what? This is the right age. She is now mature enough to live with you. So she went to live at that age. Today, the same age when people are active. Yes, we know we consider it taboo because they are not yet ready for that, but they are doing it behind our backs. Believe me. Someone messaged me just yesterday telling me my son, seven years old, 
is hooked onto pornography in a way that I don't understand. What can I do? Allahu Akbar. Well, that's the world for you. We call those who lived a pure life barbaric and we are barbaric. We call ourselves pure. May Allah protect us. We protect the Sunnah by this type of explanation. We protect the Sunnah by saying and by teaching the purity in relationships. We don't need to be embarrassed as to what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did. All we need is to be educated as to why things happened in that particular way and to understand how to explain to the world that you know what? It does not mean we promote any form of this, you know, child marriages and so on. No, not at all. We don't promote that. But we do know that the age of maturity and majority is being pushed to a greater figure as the years are passing. In my country, we can drive at the age of 16. I don't know about your country. I think it might be 18. Did someone just say 12? <laughs> Allahu Akbar. I wouldn't be surprised because there are 12 years old people, children who know how to drive better than adults sometimes. And in other countries, it's 21. And you want to drive a truck? Well, you need to be 25 in some countries. Why is it? Whereas they can drive sometimes from the age of about seven and eight, depending on how much they've driven behind the father's back. Allahu Akbar. Quietly, they got the Porsche and they're going down the street. They don't know. They've come back quietly, opened the gate and put it back, snoring in their bed. When you get up in the morning, you're getting them up, not knowing they spent a night outside. Where did they go and how? Your Porsche. <laughs> These are different ages. So it will continue changing. I'm just hoping and praying that a day doesn't come when the age of majority is 40. Allahu Akbar. And if that day comes, they'll probably think that we were barbaric. <laughs>